What is going on guys? Welcome to the new video. My name is Lincoln and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and like if you enjoy the video. Turn on the post notifications so you don't miss a thing. And today's video we will be doing all of my scooter parts. I've done one before and it did pretty good where I just got a bunch of parts from one of my old sponsors and I just went over all my parts, kind of some stories behind them, and I'll try and keep it simple for each part while I still show you the parts and like the reasoning why I have, why I bought that part like behind it and why I have that part. So super hyped to film this video. There's lots of parts inside the box. No, it's not just boxes. So I'm going to take them all out right now, get them all laid out, and then we'll go through all the parts. So I now have all my parts laid out and I did not realize I had this many scooter parts. Like let's count the bars. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think that's 12 pairs of scooter bars. Lots of wheels, lots of forks, lots of decks. So I'm going to go over each of these parts, why I have them. A quick explanation and just overview, maybe review of the part. Yo, that is a lot of parts. Like, that's quite a bit. Okay, it's time to go over. What I'm going to try and do is go from the start of when I first rided scooters, like my beginner parts to like the most recent parts like my scooter obviously right there i'll go over that i literally just did a scooter check so there's not much but here it is i'll basically show you so we'll start from the start of my career so this thing has obviously been quite well used as you can see i remember my grandpa bought it for me at toys r us so shout out to grandpa pretty nice you know it's got a nice little double clamp it got the threaded compression authentic razor label you know we ain't repping no fake razor if we're gonna go razor we're going real razor yeah it was a tram scoot after his life for a little bit but these edges you know you can't even put that much duct tape on it for those edges to still be sharp and if it hits you then in, in that shin who still hurts so good scooter everyone's basically everyone started out a razor so this is my first scooter right here my next part was a fusion x3 complete i remember my brother and i each bought one i did an unboxing it got like 80k views so like you're welcome fusion i got you lots of free promotion right there fusion he got a green one i got the black complete this thing was pretty sick you know what it was a lot better than the razor even still with the 30 compression i did learn my first tail up on this so it did serve me pretty well and then it served me well here until the bars totally just got messed like you can see there Whew. You can see there, those bars, they're messed up. Like, at the slit, it just got bent so bad. So, yeah, that complete was there. Served me a little while. Learned my first tail up. So, lots of memories on this deck right here and bars. And I remember the day when these bars broke and, like, snapped and bent back. I was crying. I was legit so sad that my scooter broke. I was crying. I'm not even joking. After my fusion, I decided to step it up a little bit. And I got a Havoc Storm complete. Unfortunately, I don't have a deck. I was supposed to give it to my friend and they basically the shop took it never really rode it So I'll ask if they still have it because I kind of want it back because that was a pretty sick deck And I drilled about a million holes in the bottom of that deck Yeah, basically you can see the holes here That was for testing the drilling and then I drilled about a million in that other deck So this was a good complete it was not threaded compression. It was my first like integrated compression So it was a good scooter pretty well lasted except these bars they snapped right at the top of the slit here Believe it or not, this is the first pair of bars I've ever actually snapped at a slit. Like, I've only rode IHC my whole life. I rode SCS for, I think, like a day. And I've only snapped one pair of bars at the slit. Like, these Havoc bars, I see them snapping a lot at the slit. So, must be a little weak down there. Overall, pretty good scooter. First part to break was it on, was on the wheels. As you can see right there, it just got split right there. Yeah, I was doing a doublet flat. Wheel hit the ground and boom, just broke right off. Which kind of sucks, but I did upgrade eventually to these root wheels, which I had about four pairs of. Here's some. Those are dehubbed. This was the first pair chunked. Then I got them warranted. Then I dehubbed the other ones pretty fast. Never really buying root wheels again, I don't think. I don't know. I just haven't had a great experience with them. Okay, so we went Razor, Fusion, Havoc. Next, we upgraded to the Cody Flom deck, I'm pretty sure. So this thing over here, Cody Flom deck, it is way too thin for me now. 4.25. I don't understand how anyone rode this and like actually did big tricks in catching them on this. Because like my feet, they just don't fit on there. But it was a good deck. I rode it for quite a while. And now it just has a huge crack right here at the bottom. You won't really be able to see it, but it's pretty big, trust me. So I rode this deck for quite a while. Did a bunch of builds with it. That build got, that build got like almost 120,000 views. So 
Stack did pretty well. Had these blue Havoc wheels with it, which this one eventually just totally dehubbed this other one. So, yeah, I had that full scooter with some Apex bars, which I did just give to my friends. So, I don't have those anymore, but Cody Flum deck was next. The next scooter I got was this Fusion. It was a Z375 Complete that Fusion actually sent me, like... They just said, we love your efforts in the scooter community, and we're going to send you a scooter. It wasn't a sponsorship or anything. It was just like a little, I don't know, <laughs> like a donation to my channel almost. I rode this deck. I rode the bars for quite a while, too. There were some light aluminum bars. They did eventually get a crack in one of the gauntlets there, so that sucks. But this deck, I have to say, was probably one of my favorite decks I've ever rode. No, it's not because I got it for free. It's just because this width, 4.8, is like the perfect width. There was just enough room for my feet to sit on there. And I did get it cut down, so I got some box ends here. My local shop cut it down for me to 18.5. And I know that's super short. But yeah, 18.5. This was like the prime deck. I could land all my tricks on this. I loved it so much. The side edges, you can see they're curved. They're not perfectly flat. So I feel like when you finger whip, it just kind of like fit with your hand and it just didn't hurt that much to finger whip and i just love this deck unfortunately it did snap right at the head too right at the head too it was ridden really hard like its whole life by multiple people so super sad that this deck broke but i did really love it i did upgrade the bars i did upgrade the bars to these ethic drides i bought them off a friend of mine for like 20 bucks so shout out to jasper gave me a really good deal because those bars the polished ones were a little bit too short, so I got these ones, which then eventually became too short. So then I got these Black Affinity Basic Bars from my friend Kai. He just basically let me borrow them, but then he never really wanted them back. I offered, but he said I could keep them. So Black Affinity Basic Bars like these, but they were steel, and my toothpick arms don't really work with steel bars. So good bars while they lasted. Then I eventually moved up to these reaper bars which i've had three pairs of as well one on my scooter one i did end up giving to my friend just because he needed a pair of bars and i've got this perfectly fine pair of bars left for riding once these ones snap down at the slit here are all my bars these mgp bars came with all my vx9 completes that i got these bars came with from my sponsor package from unique hobbies and more which I got from them. I don't have the deck or any of the other parts with me anymore, which kind of sucks. But I think my favorite parts are these Reaper bars. These are such good bars. These bars are too short to ride for me, but they did come with a bunch of standard clamps. So I'll maybe use those eventually, just some black standard clamps and some grips, which really weren't that good either, I'll be honest. Here's some spare grips I have. I don't know, nothing really too well even to ride. These ones are worn out. I didn't really like the Envies. These ones are just so slippery because they're Havoc, and these ones are worn out and dirty too. Kind of sucks, but here's all the wheels I've had. Lots of them are dehubbed. These two MGP ones are what I'm going to use for my next scooter, so I'm going to do a build with these because these wheels just look sick, like teal on teal. Mm, such a good colorway. Obviously, I've liked teal on teal before. Yeah, so I've basically gone on all over those bars. Just got some clamps here. Here's an Apex apex scs i've never really ridden it i traded my friend i think for a lucky one this one's kind of scuffed painting so i might repaint it eventually one day use it envy oversized clamp had some problems with this i don't know it just wasn't clamping properly so haven't used it much here's a standard mgp clamp old fusion clamp um this fusion four came on my fusion scooter i used this clamp in all my builds along with the bars just the deck was too long for me to ride at first until i got it cut down but i've used the clamp on all of my scooters I've built since I've had the Fusion and this fork lasted me a long time Did turn it into a tramp scoot Fork which I will eventually put onto my tramp scooter soon. Here's an NVCNC fork I used with my lucky with my um, Cody Flom lucky deck build because it's kind of like an all teal scooter I did paint this black eventually now. It's kind of like worn off. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this fork It is still a good fork though. So I'll probably use it eventually one day and my current scooter now, which, which I've done a big scooter check on, so you can go watch up in the cards, right? I don't really remember, in one of these corners. So yeah, guys, that is all my parts, all my scooter parts. I really hope you did enjoy the video. I've had quite a bit of parts, and I'm very fortunate to be able to, like, 
receive all these parts and showed it to all the companies that have sent me parts in the past and warranted me for parts because I've had some really bad luck with scooter parts recently, which kind of sucks. It's because I've been buying cheap parts. I really just need to like get an expensive part that's going to last me and be strong because I keep buying cheap parts and they keep breaking. So obviously I have given a bunch of scooter parts away. Like I gave my friend Apex bars. I just gave my friend recently a fork and reaper bars like this isn't stuff i usually just like say and go tell the world so obviously i am i don't just keep parts to myself when i see if someone needs it like i'm gonna let them ride a part or just have a part thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed all my scooter parts let me know down in the comments how many scooter parts you have and if you did beat me that'd be crazy like that'd be a lot of parts for you to have so i want to thank you guys all so much for watching don't forget if you are new hit that subscribe button down below Drop a like on the video and drop a comment of what you think and if you got all the parts. I'll see you guys all in the next one. It's been Lincoln. Peace out.